Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Rick Dancer, and welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. I'm over by Oakway Center. Uh, there's Trader Joe's over there. <clears throat> there's what used to be uh, Pier 101 Imports. And then right across the street is Chris Dental, Caring and Trusted Dental Care. And uh, Michael Bratlin is a new client of ours. And Kathy and I kind of got in one of those chain dental clinics and that ended up doing a bunch of work on her root canals. They are um, uh, crowns, and they were done wrong. And so she's been waiting to come in. <clears throat> and we know that this time of year is when a lot of you, your insurance is changing. And uh, so this is my dentist and my wife's dentist, and we thought we'd kind of introduce you. What I like about them is they, one of the things, look at that. I can do doors at the same time. Tell them who you are. Oh, well, hi, Rick. I'm Lindsay. So, Lindsay, one of the things I always tell people about my dentist is you guys, you're, you take it seriously, but you don't take yourself seriously. No, we do have a lot of fun here, while offering really quality care. I love this office. So, this is the cool place, guys. Look at this. And they have filters everywhere um, to uh, help with COVID, but you're going to see what else they do, too. Kathy's back here um, getting her first exam, but I want to show you what they do here real quick. All right, ladies. Take down your mask just for a quick second so they can see you. Hi. Tell them who you are. My name's Haley. I'm the hygienist. So what do, you, what do you guys do to get ready for the next person when they come in in terms of COVID? Um, in terms of COVID, this is an extra oral section unit, so we always turn this on whenever we're doing anything that creates any aerosols. Um, another thing that we do is we spray every room with hypochlorous acid, which just helps kill all the aerosols and bacteria and viruses. It's actually stronger than bleach. Is that what she's doing right now? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to come around there. So you guys, this is because somebody just left the room and check out her hair. Turn around. No, no, this is look at that. Does anybody ever tell you you look like Rick Dancer except pretty, <laughs> except prettier? <laughs> Thank you. No, they have not told me that. <laughs> well, I'm going to say it. I think you could be my daughter. But anyway, so what are you doing? Um, I'm just sterilizing everything with uh, cavi wipes. So every time somebody leaves, that's what you do? Yes. to be sanitized. So everything gets sanitized in between every treatment? Yes. yes. All right, good. All right, look at, she's running, she's going. Okay, hello, who are we, everybody? There he is, there's the dentist, that's Michael. Hi. Who are you? Sarah, Hi. <laughs> Sarah. dental assistant. Sarah was, I told her she got to do a five minute speech and she said no way, she wasn't doing it. And there's Kathy, my wife. Hello everyone. So, honey, was so excited to come in because why are you excited, sweetheart? Well, the last dentist that we had been to, um, one of those kind of chain dentists, um, I've had this crown redone twice and it's still not right. So I was excited to have somebody else look at it and see if I'm really crazy. So, well, I can tell you, you are. I, I don't know if Michael can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael, show Kathy what you do because I was t trying to tell her from the last show we did, like what you do when before she gets in here. Yeah, like, okay, so I, I didn't show you this last time. Let me take off my mask just so you can understand me. I'll, I'll stand back. So this is we got one of these in every single operatory here. It's an extra oral suction unit. So when you're working on a patient, a lot of times the aerosols will fly in the air. Well, this thing doesn't. This thing actually, we turn this on, we put it by the person's face, and it sucks up the air. So not only do we have suction. Not only do we have suction, like no, we normally do, but this keeps it. This keeps it actually the, the aerosols from going out the room. So any kind of, I mean, just to say it, any kind of spit or anything that's coming out, it's going to drag that aerosol and, that and the aerosol, Yeah, absolutely. And it, it, you know, in dental offices, that's what we worry about: aerosols going from one room to another. And then we have, so we clean. We'll clean a room like normal, and we're very. I just hired a person. Their only job is to sterilize everything. Like we have our assistants that usually sterilize and they'll clean the room, but we have somebody, Morgan, that comes in and will disinfect everything. And then we also have, and I showed this last time, that we have, this is hypochlorous acid spray. This is stuff I can spray on my face. It's supposed to be 80 to 90 times stronger than bleach. And so after we clean everything, because there's always like little crevices when you clean that you can't really clean. So we go through everything and we spray it. And, uh, you can actually spray this. They spray this on vegetables and, and fruit. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. It, it, and it never hasn't bleached my clothes yet, even though it smells like chlorine. 
but it, it's just an extra protection uh, because we are anal when it comes to like my staff will tell you we go through boxes and boxes of gloves uh, uh, we don't cross contaminate anything because I never want a patient to come and ever get infected with uh, with something like and and I, I've had I've owned 15 offices uh, and and Rick's probably told you I'm not a chain I own Cristel like 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 uh, I just started a lot of dentist offices dentists have multiple offices I like having other offices um, but I work here this is my practice but I'm very uh, like we've gone through staff that are just not very clean we have we have to be clean we're we're, we're very clean like. That's one thing I pride myself on. So this is, a, I didn't know, because this is for us, this is a time of year when most people are like looking, their insurance is coming up and they're looking for somebody. It might, it's a good time to look for somebody new if you're wanting somebody new. It is. We have a, a, a certain insurances that will expire at the end of this month. And so we have people now that are rushing in saying, hey, can I get a crown? And we can. We can get crowns in uh, in the next before the end of the month. We also have people that by January 1st, their whole, the, the, their whole plan We'll start over again. So if you have benefits and you need stuff done, we'll get you in. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we still we stay we go seven to seven, and then on uh, Thursday and Friday we stay we just normally eight to five hours. But we're here. So what Kathy and I did, and I'll tell she can tell you because she's like the one that handles all of our money, which is you should thank God for that. <laughs> but but we were so we went cheap because we to kind of tell. So we went to like a program where you pay a fee for the year and then supposedly you're getting discounted uh, rates on your different um, dental procedures like cleanings and, and what are the, the, what is the right? Anyway, so, but it, you know, you do get what you pay for because honestly, I've never been satisfied. I never go out of there feeling like I've had a really good cleaning and that they're really on top of my mouth and what's going on with my teeth. So yeah, you do get what you pay for. Yeah, and we, so that's why she's in here look, having Michael look at her crown. Um, that being said, conscientious. Like, like we're, we're in the middle range for fees. We're not the lowest, we're not the most expensive. I do a lot of, I do a lot of freebie things. Uh, but we take care of people right because there's a lot of times you can go to the dentist and you can get a lot of work done on your gums and you don't get the results. We got a brand new state-of-the-art laser and it works phenomenal. So if somebody has periodontal disease, uh, a lot of times you go to the dentist, you get quadrant scalings and then you come back and it doesn't seem to work. We have a protocol and Haley is absolutely like awesome hygienist. And so when you come in, you get bone loss, you get areas that are inflamed or hurt, we go quadrant scaling and we take a laser and we take iodine treatment. We do a protocol that's phenomenal that I'm really, really proud of. That's actually better than anybody I know. And we get results better than anybody I know. And that's, that's, that's critical because if I was a contractor and your house is on sand and I'm fixing the roof, we say, hey, wait, well, let's back up. Let's, let's fix the foundation. And that's what we do. We really focus on the foundation and the perio better than the anything. last. The last time I had my teeth cleaned, I went home and I. You know how you like that feeling when you rub your teeth and you, and it didn't feel like that. And it wasn't wow. here. I was at my other <laughs> dentist, but I. You know what I mean? It's like, and I knew I kind of felt like I just got rushed through and out the door. And we, people don't we want don't that rush because you know everybody has to make money. And let's be honest. But I know I always tell my staff it's quality taking care of patients first. Uh, Money will come if we take care of our patients. Right. And, and if we take care of them, like in every single thing we do, I always think if you were my child or you were my mom or your grandma, what would I do? I never do a crown on somebody that, that doesn't need a crown. I never do quadrant scaling or periodontal treatment on somebody that doesn't need it. And we have great outcomes. Like, I'm proud of our outcomes. Well, go ahead and look at her mouth. And then um, I'm going to tell you a couple other things. Also, Michael gives all of his patients, I, I think this is crazy, but he gives them his cell phone, his personal cell phone, so that if you have an issue that you can call when it's off hours because, um, unfortunately, dental problems don't just happen 7 to 7. <laughs> sound number um, you know it's funny is, is I do I don't get a lot of phone calls or texts but I you know I, I'll get a grandparent that's concerned about their grandchild you know the tooth is coming in you know irregular and they'll take a picture I'd rather my patients have my cell number and be able to get a hold of me anytime than to have to go to the emergency room and for most of the time it's not but I've come in on Saturday I've come in on Sunday uh, to help somebody take a look or pull a tooth but I've been there 
All right. So you guys, again, we're at Chris Dendel, and that's right across from Trader Joe's. Go ahead and do your thing. And you guys, I, was, I think I can show this little room. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. There's everything is, there's people back there that don't want to be on camera. So all three uh, stations here are all ready for the next patients. People can come in until 7 o'clock at night. So if you are on insurance and you're looking for something new and you're ready for a change, uh, like Kathy and I were, um, Michael Bratlin is the guy. Uh, that's where we're bringing our business. And uh, he's also one of our clients. Uh, sponsoring shows with us and again they, they take themselves they take their work seriously they don't take themselves seriously and that's really nice when you come into a dentist's office and I like the fact that you know that it's been clean with all that stuff that they were showing us and the instruments and the things that they're doing so um, anyway I'm Rick Dancer uh, this is Get Real with Rick Dancer if you are looking for somebody just tell them when you come in that you saw it here oh she almost got on there <laughs> we almost got you and uh, there you go. That wasn't that hard, was it? <laughs> so you've only been here a short time. Yeah, I've been subbing. I was subbing for three weeks, and then um, then I was asked to come on. So I've been here for two or well, a week and a half. How's this different from other clinics you've worked at? Um. One thing I can definitely say with Dr. Bratlin is like just being really concerned about like making his staff happy and like asking us what works for us, and that's one of the biggest reasons I came here. That makes people happy. That means you're better employees, and you like yes. doing your job. You like coming to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, even more now that homeschooling started. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't this crazy? That's as a parent. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. So, um, oh wow, look at you. You're just cleaning again. So again, you guys, it's Chris Dental, Eugene, uh, right across from Trader Joe's. And let them know you saw it here. And we want to thank Michael and his staff for letting us in. And my wife's going to get all checked up and hygiened and all that other stuff that goes along with it. I'm Rick Dancer. Share this on your page in case you know somebody else that's looking for a, a new place to go in the mood for a change. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.